talk may be shorter than that intro was. So, um, <clears throat> my my main goal is to give you a brief overview of what we've been doing for uh, workshops at Iowa State, and then get out of the way so we can hear what uh, the great experience that that they're bringing to us uh, from their respective jobs. So we've been doing uh, ventilation workshops in Iowa for probably about 15 to 16 years. I've probably done more than 200 of them. I've kind of lost track. But I, I, we thought we'd kind of lay this out. This was developed with support from the Iowa pork producers several years ago, and uh, we've tried to improve it over the time. And so really uh, the things that we try to focus on are how important is that environment, uh, you know, what impacts does it have, and make people think about the pig itself. You know, a lot of times people are getting hung up on numbers, and we want them to get hung up on uh, observation and, and having a feel for what's going on. And so we think that, that um, everybody we deal with has a lot of great experience, so we just try to give them different ways to look at some things. I tell people that no one knew how to ventilate and then decide they were going to raise pigs so they could apply it, right? So usually they, they love pigs, they love producing pigs, and that's a new area they have to learn. They have to learn how to ventilate. And so sometimes um, we try to give them some background. And so normally um, uh, this, we have kind of a three-tiered uh, curriculum, and the, the basic curriculum is the one that we develop, uh, deliver the most. We go 9 to 3, 9.30 to 2.30, depends on how talkative the group is. And we try to have a lot of hands-on things where we're measuring static pressure. As we survey people that have been through the class, static pressure seems to be one of those things that they haven't really thought about much in the past. And so we try to emphasize that as maybe a new way to look at, at controlling inlets and so forth. Uh, just to understand the importance of static pressure. And you can see some of the other things, impact of so soffits, setting inlets, um, impact of dirty shutters on fans. Just We have them do some measurement and, and uh, utilize uh, this trailer to do that. And so we have a 24-foot trailer. Um, we were involved in a cooperative program where South Dakota, Minnesota, and Nebraska all kind of worked together on two previous versions of the trailer. We built our own because we had so much demand, and ours is bigger, I tell everybody. So we, I built it intentionally bigger just so we could brag about it. And uh, so it's a 24-foot trailer. You can see it's set up with, uh, in, the, in the rear, the back door drops down. We have three ventilation stages. We have a controller. AP donated a lot of the equipment that we use, and so um, it's uh, not meant to be an endorsement, but we were certainly thankful for some of the... Uh, some of the donations that they made. So you can see what the back looks like. We have a controller there as well. So we can go inside this trailer, uh, measure airflow through it from an inlet, figure out how to set those inlets, look for leaks, that kind of stuff, just to give people some good hands-on experience. And so um, I won't dwell too much more on it other than to say we have two other levels that uh, we try to personalize more and more. We don't offer those typically unless uh, people have been through it before. We try to specialize a little more in their particular scene. And so here's some more resources. There is, Brett did mention the Swine Science Online. It's a one credit course that, that I teach every fall. If you're interested in a ventilation workshop, um, we, we can uh, just drop me an email and we'll try to connect you with uh, opportunity to do that. Or you can talk to your uh, local swine extension specialist. So thank you.